on the road. Because of heavy traffic, traffic lights, busy intersections, pedestrians, parked and double parked vehicles, other motorists changing lanes, etc., driving in congested urban areas is not easy. And maintaining a cushion of safety is much more difficult. Traffic around you just always seems too close. Again, keeping a four second following distance is vital so you don't have to concentrate all your attention on the vehicle in front. Experienced ambulance operators have learned to scan the area ahead to spot potential problems. How far ahead? In the city, it is recommended that you scan about 12 to 15 seconds ahead or one to one and a half blocks. This will give you plenty of time to adjust your lane position if an upcoming situation warrants it. For example, there is a vehicle with its brake and backup lights on that might try to cut in front of you. Spotting the problem early allows you to start checking for a break in traffic so you can change lanes if necessary. Your continued scanning spots the brake and backup lights of the van parked at the corner. This driver may also try to pull out in front of you. Also, your long distance scan has alerted you to the stale green light that has been on for a long time. You know to cover the brake, not braking, to be ready should the light change. Your anticipation paid off, and you were ready for the light change. Your long-distance scan picked up these hazards, and you were able to adjust your driving to account for the problems. Even in less congested environments, don't focus on any single hazard. You spot a pedestrian on the right at the driver's side of the car, but you keep scanning, noting the double-parked truck being unloaded on the left. Where's the driver? Is there a helper? either could step out in front of you. Did you spot the car pulling out from the indoor garage? He might pull out in front of you, especially dangerous if your scan is fixated on the parked truck. As you pass the truck, you should be spotting the pedestrians on the right approaching the intersection. Will one of them try to dash across the street as you reach the intersection? Past the intersection, you spot the vehicle on the left with the wheels turned out and the taxi on the right with the brake lights on. Your scanning should also have picked up the second taxi backing out into the road in front of the first taxi. By covering the brake, you slowed in advance to avoid a panic stop at the last minute. Even in less congested environments, there can be a lot of potential hazards. Regarding jaywalkers, on non-emergency runs, you may be tempted to stop and wave a jaywalker across in front of you. Don't do it. You can't control the actions of other drivers approaching from both directions. Because of the size of your vehicle, a driver behind you may not realize why you have slowed or stopped and may decide to pass you, even crossing the double yellow line right into the path of the jaywalker. Stopping to wave jaywalkers across the street is not only a potentially dangerous act, it is also one that can get you involved in a liability situation. When stopping at an intersection, stop before the stop line. However, if you find that you have stopped beyond the stop line, don't back up. A pedestrian may be crossing behind your vehicle, or a car may have pulled up into your rear blind spot. If you are stopping behind another vehicle, Stop far enough back so you can see the other vehicle's rear tires and a little pavement. In this position, you would have room to move around the vehicle if necessary without backing up. When starting, wait for a count of two before starting. This will reestablish your cushion of safety. So if the driver ahead has to stop for the crossing pedestrian, you will have plenty of room to stop smoothly. Let's look at this situation you are maintaining a safe following distance behind the vehicle ahead. As you approach the intersection, you scan the intersection for potential hazards. For the vehicle to your right encroaching on your lane, to the left and right to be sure cross traffic is stopped, and across the intersection for a vehicle that might make an illegal left turn in front of you. But did you forget to scan behind and spot the vehicle approaching on your left that illegally cuts in front of you to go straight. 
By anticipating the hazard, you're able to cover the brake and avoid a possible collision. At this intersection, you are going straight. You're slowing since the light is still red. When the light turns green, you will scan left and right to be sure cross traffic is stopped. And you will check oncoming traffic to be sure a vehicle is not waiting to turn left in front of you. This is why you do not want to immediately start when the light turns green if you are waiting at an intersection. A pause for a count of two would allow this driver to complete his illegal left turn from the right lane and keep you out of a possible collision. If you are planning to turn right at the next intersection, plan to signal well in advance of the turn, soon after you pass through this intersection. Most states require signaling at least 100 feet ahead. However, be aware that your signal may be confusing to others. For example, you may be turning right at the upcoming intersection, but in this case, this driver may have thought that you were turning into the alley and he pulled out in front of you. By the way, did you spot this driver here or here? Let's watch again. Remember to scan the entire driving scene ahead, not just your travel path. By spotting the car approaching from the right early, you can cover the brake to anticipate that the driver might pull out in front of you. As you approach your right turn, make sure you scan the intersection to the left to be sure cross traffic is stopped. A cross to be sure an oncoming vehicle is not planning to turn left in front of you and to the right for crossing pedestrians. Your scan to the right picked up this mother and carriage and allowed you to stop early while she crossed. Don't forget to cancel your turn signal after completing the turn. Making a left turn across a traffic lane is a dangerous maneuver, one that results in a high percentage of collisions. Try to avoid making left turns whenever possible. If you must turn left, signal well in advance. If you must wait, remember to stop far behind the vehicle ahead so you can see the rear tires and some pavement. Also, when moving ahead, remember to wait for the count of two to re-establish your cushion of safety. This intersection does not have a left turn arrow. Because you are driving a larger, heavier vehicle, you will need to wait for a significant break in traffic. While waiting for oncoming traffic to clear, be sure to wait with your front wheels straight ahead. Don't turn them to the left in anticipation of the turn. If another vehicle were to hit you from behind, you could be pushed into oncoming traffic. In non-emergency situations, when you are turning left and have a choice of two designated left turn lanes, choose the lane to the right. In this position, you will keep other vehicles out of your right blind spot and you will be able to track vehicles on the left. If you detect movement toward your lane, cover your brake and sound your horn. Highway driving may not seem as complex as city driving, but the high speeds raise the safety stakes considerably. In addition to the basic necessities of scanning and keeping a cushion of safety, there are additional defensive driving skills and techniques you can use to reduce your chances of a highway collision. One of the most hazardous highway situations occurs when drivers attempt to merge onto a highway. When on an entrance ramp without a control light, maintain a safe following distance behind any vehicle ahead. This will prevent you from startling the other driver who may panic upon seeing an ambulance behind and may stop on the entrance ramp. Give you room to maneuver should the driver in front slow or stop. Give you time to scan across traffic lanes and give you enough room to accelerate as you merge with the faster moving traffic. Once the vehicle in front merges, use your mirrors, lean in your seat, and check across lanes for vehicles you might not be able to spot in your mirrors. Once on the highway, establishing and maintaining a cushion of safety will help you provide a smooth and comfortable ride for your patient and crew. As discussed earlier, when driving over 40 miles per hour, try to maintain a five second following distance and adjust your speed and lane position to maintain your cushion of safety. 
you should be scanning 12 to 15 seconds down the road, which is approximately a quarter of a mile. Your long distance scan will allow you to spot signs, overpasses, and lighted areas that indicate upcoming interchanges. As you approach an interchange, check your mirrors and blind spots for drivers approaching from behind who might cut in front of you to exit or to avoid merging traffic. If you decide to change lanes, begin by checking your mirror and leaning in your seat to broaden your sight angle. If all is clear, signal and check again. If still clear, proceed to change lanes. Once in the new lane, re-establish your five second following distance. If you are passing another vehicle, be sure you can travel at least five miles an hour faster than the vehicle without exceeding the speed limit. As you pass, move to the left side of your lane to increase your cushion on the right. Glance at the left front wheel of the vehicle being passed. If the gap narrows between the tire and the line markings, tap your horn to alert the other driver of your position. As you complete your pass, lean in your seat and use your mirrors to check the right side blind spot. Remember that your right mirror may make a vehicle seem farther away than it actually is. If clear, signal and move smoothly back into the right lane and cancel your signal. When you are driving in the middle lane on the highway, you must continually scan your mirrors to watch for any potential pinch point situations. That is, when vehicles on both sides of you pass at the same time and try to pull into your lane, be ready. Pinch point situations are fairly common. Cover your brake and back off. Usually, when drivers hear the term blind spots, they think of their own vehicle's blind spots. However, professionals have learned that other drivers' blind spots can also be a problem. They use a technique to detect whether or not they are in another driver's blind spot. As a general rule, if you can't see the other driver's inside rear view mirror through the rear window, that is a clue that you may be in that driver's blind spot. As you can see, if this driver were to change lanes quickly, you could be involved in a side swipe collision. Adjust your position to stay out of other driver's blind spots. In this situation, you are exiting one highway to move on to another. Signal well in advance and move into the deceleration lane as early as possible. Don't forget to check your left mirror for a driver that might cut you off to exit at the last minute, such as this driver. When exiting, know ahead of time the exact location of your exit. This will help you avoid having to make a last minute lane change and will help ensure a safe, comfortable ride for those in the patient area. As you approach your exit, signal well in advance. Check both mirrors to spot drivers behind you who may try to cut in front to exit. Slow and move into the deceleration lane as soon as possible. Keep your speed down on the exit ramp. These speed limits are posted for cars not for a larger and higher vehicle such as an ambulance. Two-lane roadways have their own special hazards, such as poor road shoulders with large drop-offs, trees, telephone poles, and oncoming traffic, all of which make it difficult to find an escape lane in case the unexpected happens. Sometimes, you can't even move within your lane. In addition, the heavy vegetation combines with sharp curves and crests of hills to obstruct your view of the road ahead. In conditions like these where you can't scan far down the road, cover the brake and be ready to slow quickly should a hazard appear with little warning. Your only option may be to slow or stop within your lane since you may not have an adequate escape lane. Here your scanning picks up the hidden drives sign and the traffic cone near the curve. Cover your brake to further reduce your speed. As you round the curve and spot the road maintenance ahead, reduce your speed still further, braking if necessary. Scan past the trouble area and proceed slowly only when you are sure it is clear. When you do spot potential hazards ahead, cover the brake to reduce your speed. Now you are ready for this sharp curve and you are able to negotiate it smoothly without sudden braking, 
much appreciated by your co-workers and the patient in the back. On rural roads, not only are your visibility and maneuverability restricted, but you often must share the narrow roads with other motorists, bicyclists, and pedestrians. Scanning as far ahead as possible allows you to spot others on the roadway, but don't let your attention become fixated on the obvious hazards and lose track of changing conditions, such as the partially obstructed pedestrian crossing warning sign and the pedestrian suddenly moving onto the right side of the road. Gravel roads require special attention. The loose road surface combined with the ruts and washboard surface substantially reduces traction and increases braking distance. Also, gravel roads are often very narrow with no shoulders or escape routes. These factors, combined with a restricted view of the road ahead, in this case caused by the hill and heavy vegetation, require that you reduce your speed. As soon as you spot the fuel delivery truck, cover your brake and proceed only when you are sure the road ahead is clear. Coaching Reminder Points Remember to use the rightmost left turn lane in non-emergency situations. When changing lanes, signal well ahead. Remember to continue to scan for others who may not hear or see you.